you must understand the historical context in which this happened. This has not happened in an isolated fashion. Malaj, the parliament of India, the, the constituent assembly in India, framed a constitution which included a provision for, for a constituent assembly of Jammu and Kashmir. Malaj, surely that was not an isolated act. This happened in consultation and in agreement with the then Maharaja. And the JNK constitution contemplates that this legislative assembly will have no role in regards exactly. to the amendment of the provision exactly. of the constitution exactly. relating exactly. to exactly. Article 37. Otherwise, they would not put that phrase. That but expression. then how would that, how, what, is, what sort of the con next question is, supposing there was no constituent assembly. That's the next question. How do we, then what because constitutional mechanism would be in this phase then? If there were no constituent assembly and your lordships were sitting in five, I would answer that question. But luckily, we have a constituent assembly. Well, I, I can't answer a hypothetical question as to what would. How would happened. you then? How would you then put into place the constitutional machinery? Because there has to be machinery. It can't be that you know because there is no constituent assembly. No, that because there is no constituent assembly, you cannot at all deliberate on a proposal for abrogation or modification of Article 370. Your Lordship is putting to me, supposing the Maharaja refused to have a constituent assembly. No, it take 2019. I'm sorry? Take 2019. Yes. When the constituent assembly has been convened, the constituent assembly has drafted the constitution. Yes. Therefore, its role has come to an end. There is no constituent assembly. Correct. 2019. The government wishes to the government the president wishes to modify article 370 yes now we've seen the process which they followed yes what according to you would have been the constitutional process to uh no I constitutional think. process because the constitution of jammu and kashmir said in terms in 147 mm -hmm. that no such bill can be introduced in the legislature oh, by them by them i'm talking about mm -hmm. no by them where the constitution as it applies to the state of jammu and kashmir which is part of the uh, a part of the law applicable in jammu so and according kashmir. to you no pro no constitutional procedure no can be initiated for abrogation of article 370 at all i've been saying it's permanent why do you mean i've been the argument is that after 1957 yes the president says to have any power under article so, so, so was article, that of article was, was temporary between 1951 and 1957 where do you get that power from? You see, the point is, mothers, at that time it was temporary because there was nothing in place. After 1957, yes, sub Article 3 has become OTOs now. Oh, yes, no, mothers. It can happen as a political, it, as a political decision. The uh, Jammu and Kashmir government and the legislature of the state unanimously did what? And they merged. That's, uh, that's another issue altogether. So, Mr. But, Sabal, the according to you, neither the assembly can do it. Yes. Not the parliament can yes. do it. Yes. So what you are saying is while other provisions of the constitution may be capable of amendment through a process and research for amendment, yes. other than of course if it is hit by basic structure, Correct. this is one provision which can never be amended. Well, let's, and let it put it differently. Well, let me put it. Under what power, under what power will this take place? Let's assume Malaj, can do it. If my lord put the question to me, to under which provision of the constitution can they do it? Having a permanency, the whole concept is that constitution is also a live document. At some stage, can we say there is no mechanism whatsoever for ever changing it, even if everybody wants to change it, uh, and it, it doesn't affect the basic structure. Then, to say that if suppose all of Kashmir wants it, hypothetically, then a political act can be. But uh, there can be a political act. And, uh, and, but, uh, and, and, and those, and those negotiations. Clause one is the answer to this. 370 clause 1, bit by bit, modifications, exceptions, applications have come. Now, if, and one important thing your Lordship may note, is it's, it's completely irreversible. Because it's completely irreversible, all those parts which have now been brought in, they cannot now reverse. So part 3, for example, have come in with modifications. Can Parliament not have amended the constitution exercising the 368 power to abrogate 370? No, no, no. Which That's means, right. therefore, that there is a provision of the Constitution, apropos what fell from Brother Justice Call, that according to your submission, there is a provision of the Constitution which lies even beyond the amending power of Parliament. That's right. Your Lordship may note. What so we are creating then a new category apart from basic structure. No, no, no not That 370 belongs to that. It is, it is inherent and it's integrated into 370 itself. It's not a new category. It's a category that exists. 370 clause 3 only provides that if you want to abrogate, there is a mechanism for abrogation, which is why it's temporary. Now, if 370 clause 3 goes 
and is not brought into service. 370 clause 1 can now be used continuing with the legislative assembly, with the government of uh, Kashmir, giving its consent, and the entirety of the constitution can be made applicable to Kashmir still under 370 clause 1. It can still be done. No, so the answer is not that it can't be done. I, I'm sorry. Let's assume is what should... your argument on clause 3, is which has been argued that clause 3 is today aged in stone. It's, it's now, it cannot be. Want to put yeah, it, that 371, according to 370 sub, sub clause 1, itself envisages bringing in different provisions. Correct. Tomorrow, through that process, it is said that each and every provision of the constitution yes. Yes. applies to the state of game. Yes. Then what remains of 370? Nothing. Then, then the only to say that you can, uh, it can in a sense, different. make it uh, make completely 370 infructuous. Yet it is sacrosanct where it can never be removed. Let me just explain, Manoj. Clauses 1 and 2 and 3 have to be read together. 2 is transitory. 3 provided for abrogation to be temporary. So if you have a constituent assembly and they are giving their recommendation, then the abrogation was immediately possible. It's a shortcut and 370 comes to an end. No, no, the long way around is through 370 clause 1. With Applying provision of past. So I'm saying, therefore, said that yes. 371, according to you, yes, can mean <coughs> that have been issued from time to time. Yes, that it can say that each and every provision of the constitution. It can, of course. Correct. Once we come to that, yes, I'm just thinking aloud. What remains in 370 after that? Which it means remain. so you are saying this shell of 370 should remain, but, but the substratum can be. I think uh, assimilation needs to follow the correct procedure. The 370 clause 1 procedure is still available, was what we are arguing. I don't know what it's still argument is certainly not what I It's mean. what we are saying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, yes, that, wish, that I may be his interpretation. Expression. I, think, I, think, I think Mr. Yes. Let Mr. Sibyl come. Because, you know, otherwise that will. Uh, I think, you know, Mr. Sankana, and what will happen is we are following a certain we are following a certain line and a link and a syntax. So, I mean, I think, you know, we might. We might be broken up in the nuance uh, of. Uh, uh, so I expect Mr. Sibyl, he knows the law. He also will have, therefore didn't jump and answer the question. I don't think. I think you see, the nuances are so many as something Mr. Sibyl is arguing, something which you propound to do yes. so. Mr. Yes, Gavidi said, no, no, this is not what I am saying, I am saying something different. So we will have to see where the call right? I understand. So your argument, no, I want to put at your own turn. He says that you can keep the shell, but the process is 2370 and. So that is another interpretation. Well, it's, well it's, the problem is that if there's a constitutional process to do it, it can be done. If there is no constitutional process to do it, then it has to be a political act. 